Well, good morning, everyone. Today we're heading down to the barn to do the uh, black probes. Now let's get the uh, barn door open here. We're um, gonna do the black probes today. Did the gray yesterday. Gonna finish off the job doing the black probes and hopefully wrap up this video. I'm gonna get in here and get some lights on and get started on the black probes and we'll be done with this job. Not sure I need to show this, but in order to get to the black tank, it's above this axle, so this fender needs to be removed. And in order to remove this fender, a couple of screws on each side and it rocks up. Very, very specific to the uh, Jayco Seneca. So there's the two screws there that I gotta remove. And then over here, there's two screws here. And then that fender will rock up and I'll be able to, it comes up like this, hinged along here, and I'll be able to prop it up. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I don't think I need to make a video of that because that's so specific to this rig, this model and everything else. So we'll um, start this back up when we get access to the tank. Okay, thought I'd do a short video on this fender propped up with my washing brush. And then you can see it's just propped up. They will slide along that rail, but I just find it easier just to do this. So now I gotta remove this panel and I should have access to the black tank. Alrighty, I got that panel off. Interestingly, I remember putting it back up when I put all this insulation in here, because I insulated all the pipes I could have access to. When I put it back up, I siliconed it as well as screwed it thinking, oh, I'll never get need to get back in there again. Let's just go ahead and silicone and seal that. So anyhow, here is our probes that we're gonna be uh, drilling next to. There's the black tank probes. So I'll be drilling next to them like I did in the gray. These are much closer, interesting. But that's where we're at. I will, um, See if I can get access to this a little easier. All right, we're getting ready to drill some holes in the black tank. Not as scary as yesterday when we were doing the gray just because we'd never drilled holes in tanks before, but the black tank, I guess, could be considered scarier. This is the probe we're gonna be using. This is the black tank probe. It's the same as a gray tank one, except it's got this little sleeve that goes over, it's supposed to protect things from landing on top of the probe inside the black tank. Um, and also when you go to install it, it's got a little flat edge on the threads here. You know you put that up and that'll cause that to be upright on top so you don't get it spun around while you're installing it. But we're getting ready to uh, start that. Let's see how it goes. Same thing, we're just gonna drill a hole about an inch or so from the old one at the same level. And Hope this, uh, hope you can see this. I'm probably in the way of the camera. Oh, this, again, scary drilling holes. Okay, let's see how far in we are. I'm not gonna wobble that because these are different probes. Let's see if they go in or if I do need to wobble it. Yeah, I definitely need to wobble it like I did the um, gray tank. Not much. Well, yeah, a little bit more. I'd rather do it in small increments than too much. No, not really. I think I'm going to need to open it up just a little bit more. Definitely at the 3 8 point. Yeah, 
wiggle it around and wobble it a little bit. The thing is, is you don't want to get too forceful with the rubber. There we go. wrench. We're going to tighten up the first nut. That seems good and solid. and the wire is slipping with the, uh oh. The wire is spinning with the screw and I'm trying to unscrew the screw, which is gonna pinch the wire. Ah, let's try holding it. Interesting, the screw's not coming out. Looks like I'm going to have to cut that wire and put a new crimp on that one. Or crimp a new um, eyelet on there. Which is going to take a few minutes to gather everything up. Let me get this nut on here so I don't lose it. And I'm going to have to go gather up the parts to cut and crimp and get the right size eyelet. So we're gonna hit pause on this for a couple minutes while I go gather that up. Okay, we're back. I was up gathering up tools. That's the smallest eyelets I have. Wire crimpers, wire cutters, wire strippers. So we're actually gonna cut one of these wires and try and crimp on. There's not much slack in the wire here, so I'm gonna cut it as short as possible. I hate the thought that I even have to do that. I'm going to strip off a little bit extra so I can fold it over because the eyelet's a little bit bigger than the wire that it calls for. Just fold it in half. Put that in there. Smallest one we have is red, and that's even too big for this, but it'll get us started. Get a good and solid crimp on that. Check it. Good and solid. Will it reach? It won't reach. I screwed that up. What do I need to do to get it to reach? Uh, let's see, it's the yellow wire. Pull a little bit of wire, yellow wire, through this tie wrap here. Here we go. started. Find our Loctite. Put a dab of Loctite on the threads. Still don't know why 
this wasn't coming out. I think what it is is the screw is stripped inside the fitting. And that would not surprise me. Um, not to really talk bad about any manufacturer, but we've had a lot of problem with this when we first got this rig from quality control or lack thereof. As a matter of fact, this fender and the fender on the other side fell off on the way home from the dealership. But we're not going to get into all that right now. I'm going to go ahead and drill the next one and keep going. Should have drilled that on that side. Uh oh. I can see this is going to be a problem. I'm not going to be able to drill. I cannot get the drill level. Oh, we may have to take this fender completely off in order to get up in there. I'm going to hit pause again and figure this out and let you know what I did. So what we did was this fender is slidable. Let me um, see if I can move this and show you all. This fender actually sits in a channel in here. And once you have it at a certain angle, you can slide it. So I actually slid it back and that'll give me a little bit more clearance to get the second one. The third one is going to be a little more challenging. I may not be able to get a straight line into it. So let's go ahead and get the next one done. So I went ahead and got the rest of them done. Had to drill in and hook up the wires. On all of them, I ended up having to cut the wires and put a new crimp on with the eyelet on there in order to get a connection. For some reason, the eyelets would not unscrew from the tank. I don't understand why it was so different from how it was over on the gray tank. The third one, or the top one, was a little difficult because I had to do it on an angle. So the drill motor was on an angle, and then I had to get a rat tail file to straighten that one out and make it level so that the probe was going to be level inside there. All in all, a couple of uh, minor difficulties there, but it seemed to work out okay. This video ended up turning out to be a lot longer than expected. Um, appreciate you sticking around. We got a little bit more here before we get back to live. Uh, please comment with questions, subscribe, like, and share. And that's it. I put the pipe back on, or pipe insulation back on, and reassemble and test. Although I am going to check the leaks before I do all that. In fact, I'll do that before I do that. Let's go check the leaks right now. We are checking for leaks. And I am not seeing any. It's still filling up. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm actually using the... Um, black tank flush to fill it. I've got the valve closed and using a black tank flush to fill it. It's a lot easier than holding the toilet lava down for so long, but so far no leaks at all. Well, looking in the toilet, it's shown completely full. According to the gauges at the command center, it's completely full and I'm not seeing any leaks. I think this was a well done job. Now I just got to Put everything back. I'm going to start off with some new Interneron tape, put insulation back on, recock along here to try and seal, and put this plate back on, put the fender back on, and we'll call it done. So we just drained out a little bit more, showing one. Oh, okay, must be right on the verge. 
between one third and empty. Let's go finish draining it. Okay, it is now showing empty as soon as you hit it. The black tank valve is currently open. I'm gonna let it drip for a long time um, before I do the gray tank, only because I've got a very small septic system on this barn. So, but that's where we're at. Gray is still showing full. Black is empty. Fresh should be empty. Batteries, LP, all looking good. Okay, so we should have everything done. I'm gonna swing this around here and see if we can see this. The gray tank is now showing empty. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Black tank is showing empty. So the probes appear to be doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and that's not conducting electricity without any water in the tank. So anyhow, the whole job took a total of two days, but then again, I only work a few hours a day on these types of jobs. So I had one small problem with a probe on the gray tank. It was a bad probe. There were multimeter on it and turned out to be a bad probe. So I'll have to deal with Amazon on that one. But the ones I have in there all seem to be working fine. Um, stick around. We're going to have more videos. Like I said, I've got my four shocks I got to get installed. Um, when I have the, I'm going to take the wheels off to do the shocks, even if you don't have to, but I'm going to do that because I want to polish them. I've um, got to do the sumo springs and got to do a ball valve on the def tank. And then I've got a drill hole in the roof, which is a job I'm not looking forward to doing. So um, appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. I don't know if you made it this far. If you did, great. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, comment. And I will answer the comments and questions in the comments. Uh, please like and share the videos. And stick around. We'll be doing more maintenance or not necessarily maintenance but at least um modifications to the rv and we're going to be leaving supposedly in march for six months we'll see what happens there's one thing that may happen that will cause that trip to get canceled or at least pushed around a little bit so uh thanks for watching